Okay guys, guess what? I'm here in Ayala Mall's 38 where I did Ninak before. And I'm here to pick up my new gadget for vlogging. I'm here at Urban Gadgets. And here's what I got. Yes, I know I did buy a drone yet. Can't afford pa. But I finally got myself a gimbal. Ka gimbal, gimbal, ang gimbal. So I got a Zion Smooth 4. And I will give this a try and unboxing it when I get home. So, tara kain muna tayo dito. I'm going to visit Lucky Chick because malaki ang chunk ko. Tara. Okay guys, uh, welcome to the show. It's me again, Paul P. I'm here in Ayala Mall's 30th to feature Lucky Chick. It's a chicken joint that spe specifically caters to fried chicken either with rice or with sandwich or chicken nuggets okay now I chose this because it's called lucky chick I am also lucky chan so put in one one together it's okay I came here to Ayala Malls to pick up my newest gadget for my vlog I finally got myself a gimbal and I will do the unboxing later so tara kain tayo like okay guys um the food that I ordered have arrived and Here's what they are. I got the popcorn chicken, also known as their chicken nuggets, their waffle. I got the chicken sandwich with fries. Okay. The chicken sandwich has a combo meal with, which comes with a drink and fries. So let's go try the chicken sandwich first. Okay guys, first we will try the Price. This is their burger meal. Comes with a nice big fillet and drizzled with mayonnaise and barbecue sauce. But for me, I will try the fries first. The fries are nice and crispy. It's a bit oily, but it's nice because see, their fries have skin. Believe it or not, most of the flavor of the potato comes from the skin. So, good fries. Now we will try and slice this burger. I'm just looking for a knife. Oh, there it is. I'm gonna slice the burger in half. Give it a try. Okay. Take a look at the inside. Look at that. Okay. There's a lot of bread. A little chicken. But maybe it's really flavorful. Okay. I'll give it a bite. The chicken is nice and crispy. The mayonnaise are this is just the same but their barbecue sauce is not spicy at all it's a bit sweet more of a sweet glaze barbecue sauce than a spicy barbecue sauce but believe it or not it's not that oily it's a nice crispy sa chicken sandwich not oily at all we'll give it a second bite for that The breading is nice because even without the sauce, it's already flavorful. It's really, you know that it's, it's just recently fried, or it's newly cooked, but it's really crispy. But I think it really goes well with the fries. I know they have fried chicken with rice here, but it's a weekday and I cannot eat rice. Okay? Diet for more. <laughs> we will try this burger with some of their gravy. Yeah, they cut they give you gravy too. Look at that. Nice and coated. The gravy 
is nice and garlic really smooth but it complements the chicken really well let's now move on to the nuggets this is their chicken nuggets it comes with three sauces barbecue gravy and sriracha mayo you know me I don't like spicy food but for you guys I will try the sriracha first I know I'll take that back I'll try it first without any sauce it's nice and crispy it's actually quite juicy in the middle it's, it has a certain spice to it already actually I can eat this as is you don't need a sauce but we'll give it a try try to the sriracha mayo first I really can't tolerate heat, sorry. That's really spicy. Whew. Now we'll try the gravy. Now this is natural for me. Chicken should be always eaten with gravy. Okay. Now that's a win. Okay. We'll try their barbecue sauce. Oh, it really nicely coats the chicken. Oh, it has a, a sweet vinegary, vinegary taste to it. That's nice. Of all the three, I, I prefer the gravy. Okay. This is where it gets weird. I was hoping that I would get chicken and waffles you know the perfect combination then I found out they put chocolate sauce on it so next time I'll request no sauce you can see waffles are newly cooked drenched in this chocolate sauce sprinkled with chocolate chips okay. That's really doughy. You know what? I know so I know what Kevin is good. Get some of the chicken. Let's really make this into a chicken and waffle dish. Okay? Get some of the chicken. We cut the waffle in half. Get the chicken, put it in between two waffles. And you have a waffle sandwich. That makes it better. Hmm? That really makes it better. So much better. Let's, let's see if we can take this one more step. Get some of the barbecue sauce. on the waffle and on the chicken. That was weird. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. Yeah. We'll try it with that sriracha mayo again. Maybe it's, it's gonna be better. Okay, so my favorite among the three would still have to be the popcorn chicken, but I was hoping that it could have been paired with maple syrup and the waffles. Okay, so I will finish my meal and I will give you the review later. See ya. Okay, guys, um, here's the review of Lucky Chick. We'll base it on the five again. 
that's service, location, ambiance, price, and then the food. We'll start out with location. It's easily accessible because it's, a, it's inside the mall. It's here in Ayala Mall's 30th, so really, 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 really accessible for everyone. Now, about the service, I give it about a 4 out of 5 because it took a while for them to talk to me before I ordered. So I was waiting and waiting in front of the counter. Good two minutes no I waited for about five to six minutes before someone talked to me so that's about I give it a four now ambiance ambiance is not that it's a bit cozy not too big a restaurant it's just it's like a small uh, good 20 30 seater restaurant so it's okay but the nice thing here is they have these they have like uh, board games you can use while eating if you want to play a board game with your friends they can have it they can rent it to you or you can borrow it from them and they will you can play while you're eating or while waiting for your food so it's a plus now the food fried chicken okay fried chicken is good no questions asked no matter how you look at it fried chicken is always good the downside to this was the waffle i didn't expect it to be that bad Okay. It wasn't crunchy, it was more of a gummy taste inside, and the chocolate sauce was actually not sweet. It could have been better if you ate the chocolate sauce or ma maple, maple syrup, yeah, maple syrup with the uh, chicken and the waffle, perfect. But chocolate sauce and chicken doesn't work. Okay, so I give it about 3. About 3, 3.5, three, okay, on the, on the waffle. But the fried chicken itself, it was really good. Fresh out of the fryer, very crispy. You don't even need the sauce, it's already flavorful. And I find it a bit tangy on the tongue. And there's sauces. The sriracha was really spicy, but the barbecue sauce was the winner. The gravy was okay. It was garlicky and everything, but I still prefer the barbecue sauce because it was tangy and sweet all at the same time. Okay, now let's talk about the price. Everything I ordered here, including sides and drinks, I paid around 420 pesos, which is about 10 bucks US, uh, 10 bucks Canadian. Okay, all of that for 10 bucks. I think that's worth it. Okay, 400 pesos worth of food. I'm really, actually quite full from everything because I had to eat it because it's not gonna be good if I take it home. It's not gonna be crispy anymore. But I think next time if I come here, I'll come here on a weekend and I will eat the fried chicken with rice. It's too bad that they didn't have an option where you can have it with mashed potato or fries. They only had it with rice. Okay. So this is Paul P of Always Go Tom Never Busog. Thank you for watching the video. Anyway, I would like to thank Urban Gadgets for my gimbal. They waited for me the whole afternoon. I ordered it and it took me quite a while to get from Paranaque to here. Thank you guys for waiting for me. They're awesome. You can check them out. They have one branch in the valley. They have one branch in Trinoma and one branch here. And this is the nearest one to me. Okay? And last but not least, thank you for watching. Don't forget to follow me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook at Always Gutom Never Busog, on Twitter at Paul Always Gutom, and on Instagram at Paul Always Gutom Never Busog. So, till next time, see you in the next vlog. Tara, kain tayo. Always Gutom Never Busog.